Yo guys, the Logitech G923 is one of the best budget racing wheels and it's fully compatible with F122 on all platforms. In this video, I'm going to run through the best force feedback for the Logitech G923 wheel, with the sole purpose of making the G923 feel more realistic in game and allow you to drive F122 with confidence. First off, if you're a PC sim racer, you can download the Logitech G Hub, although I've played about with this. I only ever recommend changing a single setting, and that's the operating range. Normally, I lower this to 360 degrees to mimic an F1 car's real steering lock. However, you can change this in game. So, if you don't have access to the G Hub, don't worry about it. The first stop once we're in F122 is to head over to the controls, vibration, and force feedback settings. Here, we can calibrate our G923 as well as adjust the calibration settings. The first thing you should do here is go ahead and start the button test. During this test, you can check that your steering, brake and throttle are all working correctly. Push any pedal or turn the wheel to see the bars on the right hand side move. They should all reach 100 when you push the pedals fully and turn the wheel 180 degrees in either direction. However, if you're not able to get to 100, don't worry, later on in this video I'll run through the settings to fix this. There are a few settings in this menu that I've adjusted for the G923. I've increased the throttle linearity ever so slightly, only to around 5 or so. This will give us a little more control at the centre of the wheel. Throttle linearity adjusts the linearity curve, which in turn adjusts how sensitive your steering wheel is when you first start to turn it. Increasing this linearity will make the wheel ever so slightly less sensitive around the centre of the wheel. This will allow us to apply more precise inputs as we initially start to turn. I've also adjusted the brake saturation ever so slightly. This increases when the brake pedal will register 100% input. The higher you set the brake saturation, the less you'll have to push the pedal to reach 100% brake pressure. With the G923, the brake pedal is much stiffer than with previous Logitech racing wheels, and in F122, I found that constantly pushing the brake pedal to reach 100% input is hard to do consistently. Increasing the brake saturation will decrease the amount of pressure we need to apply to hit 100%. This will allow us to brake at 100% pressure more consistently while racing. They're the only two settings that I adjust in the calibration menu. Once you've checked all the inputs are being registered with the button test and adjusted those settings, head back out of this menu screen. Next up, navigate over to the force feedback settings. This is where we can really tinker with the force feedback that's produced by the G923 to help give us an improved feel over the default settings. Starting with the vibration and force feedback strength, I haven't turned this up to 100% as this introduces some clipping. At around 90, we're getting the best all round feeling from the G923 wheel. And before I go any further, I'll just quickly touch on what clipping is. Essentially what it is, is when the forces generated exceed the maximum output of the wheel's motor. This makes more forces run into the wheel's maximum potential and as a consequence, you'll find it harder to decipher different types of force feedback, as well as experiencing force feedback spikes. For the on-track effects, I've gone with a value of 35. If you go much higher than this, you'll start to get a lot of unwanted oscillation. You'll also start to get a lot of vibration at all parts of the track. Really, we want this setting to define different textures on the track surface, so any higher and the entirety of the track starts to feel like you're racing off-road. The rumble strip effects change how aggressive the curbs are. In F122, the curbs have been reworked to be more aggressive due to the increased suspension stiffness in this year's car. And for that reason, I haven't gone above 30 with this setting. I've set the off-track force feedback effects to be relatively low at 20. This will make it easier to get back on track if you go off. If you do fancy more of a challenge, you can turn this setting up a little bit. Finally, the wheel damper should be set to around 15. Much higher, and the wheel will start to feel too heavy. Steering wheels in Formula 1 cars are relatively light due to the power steering, so keeping this setting low mimics this approach. I have also played about with the older Logitech G29 and created some individual settings for this wheel, because this wheel acts slightly different to the G923. The main difference here is the strength, as the older Logitech racing wheels struggle to output the same fidelity of force feedback as the newer G923. This has meant that I've turned up the strength setting to achieve a similar result. Overall, these settings are designed to make your Logitech G923 feel more realistic in F122. 
They've been optimized to increase the amount of detail that you feel from your wheel during specific scenarios. They should allow you to race F122 with confidence, but if they don't feel quite right to you, feel free to use this as a base and tune them to your own preference. And let me know in the comments below what settings you're using. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel because we're going to have a lot more F122 content over the coming days and weeks. But for now guys, I'll see you on track.